this is a preview of the website that we are going to create so you can see here a very elegant home page with services sections about us sections an area that displays statistics and this is a portfolio section that has been categorized into various categories this is a section for testimonials this is a section for the team so you can see this is a full business website that we are going to work on and this is once again a complete practical website course we are going to do this step by step together until we are able to do this and even beyond so these are other sections to walk you through exactly how the website is going to look like a team section that displays the team of the particular business that will own this website if you hover over each of these you see these have specific social media handles and then services section and then there are yet other sections so for example if you visit the blog section the blog section has different posts or articles so for example if we select this particular one it takes us to the blog the post that we are talking about so here we can have sharing buttons that we can use to share to various social media platforms and a section that will enable anyone who visits the website to even leave a comment to leave a comment for example a comment the person will indicate his name and then possibly his email address and then we'll be able to leave a comment to the website this will enable the administrator to be able to either moderate the comments or, or to delete it when he deems it inappropriate so you can see this is a full website with a blog integrated that we are going to work on now that said, what are some ways by which you can take to create a website? In fact, the original way and the traditional method of creating a website has to do with you coding with HTML, hypertext markup language, CSS, which is what we call the cascading style sheets and JavaScript and possibly other programming languages depending on what exactly you desire to attain for example let's take a look at some codes behind this particular website so if you want to develop just a particular page you'll have to write all of these codes all of these codes right so for example, if I highlight this area, this area is a typical HTML code. This one is CSS. This one, the CSS is what we use to create the layout, the appearance, the style of the website. And then this particular area you see here is a sample JavaScript code. JavaScript is to make the website dynamic and add special features to the website now this is one approach that you can take to create a website the other approach there is is to use what we call a website builder now, website builders are tools that enable you to create a website with relative ease typical of website builders is a drag and drop function that enables you to build a website without having to do manual coding like you can see here the third way which is what we are going to employ in our course here is what we 
core CMS, Content Management System. So we are going to employ the use of a content management system. In fact, this website has been designed with a content management system. What is a content management system? It is a software that runs on a web server that helps you to create, to store, search and to manage website content, which is typically stored in a database. So one clear difference between a content management system and a website builder is that a content management system has more features. It is database driven. It works with a database. You'll be able to store something into the database, I mean the website content, to retrieve it and to handle virtually everything about the website. So they manage the entire content of a website, including the page, the blog posts, the, the pictures, and every element the website has. They are more flexible. They are more suitable for larger projects. And the one we are going to use specifically for our project is what we call WordPress. WordPress, you may have heard WordPress before, but the one we are going to use specifically is WordPress.org. There is WordPress.com and WordPress.org. The .com typically enables you to create your website attached to their own so that you have a, a subdomain, let's say ben.wordpress.com or maybe you can equally upgrade and have your own domain but you don't have full access and full control over the website as compared to wordpress.org and as we go on things will be very clear to you you get better understanding of what i'm implying so why are we going to use wordpress why wordpress WordPress is built on PHP programming language. So for example, when I came to this website and I generated the website code to you, what you see here actually is not necessarily exactly how this has been written. PHP programming language which has been used to design WordPress or which is powering WordPress is what we call a server-side scripting language. It helps you to be able to create websites that are dynamic, to be able to program the websites. And so what has been generated here, the codes you see generated here are not exactly how they were written. They were written in a programmable way. And this is what the result will be when you you check the code. However, if you should copy this code and say you are going to generate this into a website, there's a high possibility it might not work exactly how you expect it to be. This same PHP is a language that was used to write many websites like Facebook and many bigger brands of websites there are. So back to WordPress. As I've said already, it is built on with PHP programming language and it uses a database language that we call MySQL. This means that in with WordPress, you are going to be able to easily create a dynamic database driven website. So it's not just any website at all, a website that is driven by a database. And with WordPress, you can efficiently run high traffic websites, e-commerce websites, job portals, in fact, any type of website you can think of, websites that you can think of. WordPress will be able to create such a website. Now, there are some amazing facts about WordPress. It powers up to 35% of all websites. So if you take every three websites, the possibility of you finding WordPress powered websites 
among them is very high, about 35%. And WordPress is the most popular content management system there is. So that is the reason why we are going to use WordPress. Just want to show you some popular brands that are using WordPress, popular brands or websites that are using WordPress. So, for instance, BBC America is one example. BBC America uses WordPress to power their websites. We have this other website, Bloomberg Professional, Sony Music, Microsoft News uses WordPress, TechCrunch. And we have these other companies. Facebook Newsroom uses WordPress. You can see this one too. I want to take you through some examples. You can see this one here. Harvard, Mozilla, Usain Bolt. And it continues. The list goes on and on and on. So WordPress is such a powerful tool. Sweden's official website. And the list goes on and on and on. Great. The White House uses WordPress to power their website. So you can see it is a robust system that we are going to use. And here I'm going to walk you through exactly everything you should know to get your website up and running so that you are able to have such a cool website like this before the project or this course ends. And so without further ado, let's get started.